Hi everyone, I'm Ellie. Um, this is my very first YouTube video and uh, I have decided to do a series on underrated women throughout history. Uh, I think that would be really interesting and I like research, so here we go. Um, the first woman that I decided to do a video on, her name is was Frances Ellen Watkins Harper. Um, she was born in the USA city of Baltimore and was the only child of free African American parents. Her parents' names are actually still unknown. She gets her maiden name from her maternal aunt and uncle um, after she was orphaned at just three years old. Uh, her aunt and uncle are Henrietta and Reverend William Watkins. Um, in, 19, in 1839, her career started. She published pieces in anti-slavery journals. In 1845, she published her first volume of verse, Forest Leaves or Autumn Leaves, when she was only 20 years old. In 1850, she left Baltimore and moved to Ohio, where she became the very first woman to teach at Union Seminary in Wilberforce, Ohio. In 1853, she joined the American Anti-Slavery Society and began public speaking as a political activist. In 1854, Watkins delivered her first anti-slavery speech on education and the elevation of colored race the success of this speech resulted in a two-year lecture tour in Maine for the Anti-Slavery Society. She then continued to travel, lecturing throughout the East and Midwest from 1856 to 1860. And then this next part I found was pretty incredible. Um, in 1858, she refused to give up her seat or ride in the colored section of a segregated trolley car in Philadelphia. This happened to be 97 years before Rosa Parks took a stand by staying seated on a segregated bus. She published her poem, Bury Me in a Free Land, in the Anti-Slavery Bugle, and it became one of her most popular works. She traveled on a lecture tour and often read her poetry at these public meetings. She became the very first black woman to publish a sh short story. It was titled The Two Offers and was published in a magazine. That same magazine also published her essay, Our Greatest Want, where she linked the common religious trope of oppression of African Americans to the oppression of Hebrew people while enslaved in Egypt. The magazine was widely known as a Civil War era periodical that served as a forum for debate among abolitionists and scholars. So this was an amazing um, accomplishment for her. Uh, in 1860, Frances Watkins married a widower named Fenton Harper. They had a daughter together named Mary Frances Harper, and he had already had three children from a previous marriage. She continued to live in Philadelphia for the rest of her life. However, soon after, in 1864, Fenton died just six years before black men gained the right to vote and she was left with all four children to care for and support on her own. When the Civil War was over, she toured the South, encouraging education for formerly enslaved African Americans and aiding in the process of reconstruction. In 1872, she continued her lecture tours and published Sketches of Southern Life, a series of poems told in Black vernacular, which is a term for African American dialect at the time. She became one of the first African-American novelists when she published Iola Leroy. This was a book about a slave with a very light complexion and blue eyes who was held captive by the abusive Master Tom and her struggles, which is, that book is still like taught in school and it's, it, it's still very um, uh, empowering for African-Americans and very motivating to this day. Um, in 1911, she died of heart failure on February 22nd in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, just nine years before women gained the right to vote. So she just like astonishes me with her accomplishments and she, her story, like she struggled, but she still was able to just go, go, go. And she accomplished so much. And, um, yeah, I think she's very underrated cause I hadn't heard about her before I started doing some research. So. Um, let me know in the comments what you think of this video. Uh, I know it was kind of short, but uh, this is my first YouTube video, so I would love criticism. Um, and yeah.